on your side. Yeah, you remember the date of something like that. An attack in broad daylight at a popular park. Alice Pressler remembers May 23rd, 2017, like it was yesterday. I came up to Antrim for a run. It was 70 degrees. It was beautiful outside. But that beautiful day took a nasty turn for Alice. Uh, I was assaulted by some at Antrim Park. I'm running and he broke my wrist. Shoved to the ground by a stranger. I wasn't prepared at all. And in my head, I'm a strong person. I do a lot of running. I do a lot of biking. And after it happened, part of me wanted to go after him. But in the moment, there was nothing that crossed my mind to do. Alice says she didn't feel threatened when she first saw the man. She didn't have her mace that day at Antrim, but has taken it to parks with more secluded paths. It didn't strike me that Antrim would be a dangerous place to run. I think we're good to go. I think so too. Protecting yourself will not come at a time you expect. It's that day where I'm just going to run out and get milk and get gas real quick. That's when it's going to happen. Mark Mullen and Eric Delbert educate women and men about situational awareness and self protection. We're ready. I'm ready if you're ready. Everybody else ready? No minced words here. It is a down and dirty class. That should be the hardest kill that man has ever made. Betsy Bradley nodded along. Her confidence showed. ATM at night, forget it. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's common sense. Betsy says a stabbing got too close for her comfort, which is why she is here. It was actually isolated in a domestic situation, but again, it was right outside my front door. Mullen and Delbert opened her eyes to something new. I feel that I know to be aware. I feel that I am prepared, but then I learned about the 21 steps. Your actions are faster than reaction. Delbert says the 21 foot rule is only a theory, highlighting action is quicker than reaction. If you have somebody with a knife and he's 21 feet away from you, is he a threat? I have a tape measure here. Let's show you what 21 feet looks like. Now let's say our photographer Jeff is an attacker with a knife. It may appear that I am at a safe distance, but it only took Jeff two to three seconds to get to where I'm standing. Yeah, he'll come across that room and stick you before you ever have a chance. And even if you get the shot off, his body momentum will still stick you. The key is to put distance between you and an attacker to get away. So what could you grab at a moment's notice? A fire extinguisher is one example or mace, a flashlight with a strobe feature can throw the guy off. Disorienting? Yeah, definitely. It just gives you that split second to take That's off. That's all you need. Bad guys also hate noise. It draws attention. And by simply pulling this, it emits a loud sound. Just the sound of a stun gun makes you jump, but there's a downside. They, they're intimidating, but the problem is, is you have to be right up on the guy for it to work. The motto here is to think outside the box. You guys have nail files? Yeah. Have you guys seen the, uh, the clear plastic nail files they have out there? They're made out of like polymer or whatever. They're real cool. Yeah, think about putting that through somebody's eyes. Run scenarios through your mind so a response to danger is like second nature. When it happens and you've already run it through your mind, it's new to you, it's not, it's not a surprise. Betsy pulled Mace out of her purse, yeah. realizing she should consider better placement. So, you know, Maybe um, when I'm working at night, it should be in my pocket rather than down in my purse where I have to dig to get it out. Alice returned to Antrim for a walk a week after her first surgery. But I hold it so that the part that says mace is on the outside. She now brings along her mace when she doesn't have her dog by her side for protection. I'd never carry a gun. I'd never carry any sort of other weapon. The man charged in an attack in Antrim Park was in court today. A court recently ordered the suspect to get psychiatric treatment after he was deemed incompetent to stand trial. Alice has since turned her experience into a lesson. I have approached women like after a run, I'll do the loop and I'll see a woman by herself and she'll notice my maze. And if she looks at it, I'll be like, you know, if you're running by yourself, you should bring something with you. I was attacked at this park.